So in this video, it's going to be probably a short video because I'm going to be showing you the sports mode. Now on your controller, you've got two, you've got the switch. It's all of it, especially when you're flying the drone normally, it's in P mode. But if you want to put it into sports mode, it has its benefits, especially because obviously, this, don't forget, this has got a short battery life, 15 minutes. And if you're flying out a long distance, the wind's blowing, put it into sports mode, it'll get it back a lot quicker. Now, supposedly, the speeds that have been recorded on these type of drones is 57 kilometers or 35 miles per hour. It, it goes fast. And also remember, guys, it turns off the avoidance on it. What actually happens as soon as you apply the FPV or the sports mode, I should say, the camera locks, the drone will sort of go in that position and it just zooms along. What I'm going to try and do is put it, I'm going to try and record it this time um, because I think I'm going to have a problem <laughs> trying to capture it on the camera. But anyway, it's a pretty simple thing to do, but obviously be aware that when you put it into sports mode, if there's a tree there, it's going to smack into it or any obstacle. So just make sure it's a nice, clear bit of land. Have a bit of fun. It's a bit like FPV. Now, I believe at the moment on the market, you can get some, I think it's called drone mask, very cheap goggles. You put your phone in it and you get all that. You get that FPV experience as well. I think they're about $160 or something like that. Not too bad for a set of goggles, but I'm not going to get one because I'm not really into FPV. I find it just too fast. Being an old bloke, I find it too fast. I don't, I don't really enjoy it, but it is interesting to see and it does make a little bit of noise. So let's just show you how we get into it. Meet Spark. Small, colorful, smart. A powerful flying camera that you can take anywhere. It's so clever, it activates by recognizing you. Just launch it from the palm of your hand. It even returns when you call it. And land like this. Easy. Can't get everyone in the shot? No problem. Watch as it hovers precisely in place, always at your command. Control it with your hands, remote controller, mobile device, or DJI goggles. Using GPS, Spark knows where it is, even if you don't. It'll even sense obstacles to avoid things in front of it and come home safely. Think you got smooth moves? Spark's footage is smoother. It takes the shake out of your shot, so you look like a pro. Not feeling the control sticks? Perform preset flight maneuvers with a single click and get those epic shots. Here's a way to stand out from the crowd. Spark automatically adds shallow depth of field to your photos. If you don't know how to fly, just tap fly. Let's see if you can handle sport mode. Spark keeps you in the frame, so all you need to do is act naturally. Edit your epic videos and share them instantly. Spark your aerial creativity anywhere. All you need to do is seize the moment. I've just set up the Spark. Just to remind everybody, obviously, uh, don't forget that the Spark's Wi Fi. So you've got to go into your phone or your tablet to check the settings, especially in Wi Fi. Once you see the Spark, click on that. Uh, and not, not forgetting, have the controller on as well. You get this on the screen. So the first thing is, is get a drone up. So we just take it, get it in the ground. Take on the off. Air, the home point say. has been updated. Now, Please I'm check it on sure. the map. Looking on the screen, <laughs> you're gonna see it. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. Okay. I'm just gonna see if I can bring that around a little bit. Hopefully there. Uh, so 
So anyway, on the screen here, you see the switch. So if I flick it over to, put it there. If I flick it over, so it's on, at the moment, the switch is on P mode. If I flick the switch to sports, what will happen is the camera on the front of the drone will lock also the, what it will do, it will dip and the avoidance will be turned off. So like I said, make sure there's nothing in the way um, it's telling you on the screen now what to expect. So, off we go. So it's pretty simple, guys. So you can see already it's rocking. Anyway, I'm going to bring away my controller because it makes it a little bit difficult. I'm just going to bring the drone back a little bit. And you can see already it's just locking and the camera is tilting already I think if I, if I just bring that let's bring it in, it in it, and obviously it's jerky let's see if I can there it is right, let's bring it back a bit I just want to try and show you that where oh it rocks so Okay, let's bring it back. Anyway, let's have a bit of fun. Let's put the camera on. Now I haven't, I've got it on full. It's going back. Let's bring it up a bit. All right, I'm just going to bring it over a bit. Bring it up. I'm just going to put the it full on if it goes. I mean, I can't believe how fast these things can go. I've got it on full on the way back. <laughs> I'm just going to be in front of it and just let you see on the screen there. I mean, that, that is just amazing. I'm just going to bring it over this way a bit. All right. Take it back. Off we go. So to come out of the sports mode, I'll just come back and quickly show you, just in case. I think it's always good to show what happens so on the switch if you put it back to the P mode which is to the left then the drone's ready I'm just going to bring the drone down and land it and we'll have a little chat afterwards landing so I hope you enjoyed that that was a bit of fun really there's not a lot I can show on the sports mode but I thought I'd just do it Unfortunately, it does drain the battery as well, a little bit quicker as well. So you have to remember that as well, guys. But like I said, the main thing you've got to be aware of, make sure it's nice and clear, because once it's in sports mode, unless you pull your finger off the stick, it ain't gonna stop. <laughs> and if there's something there, it will smack into it. 35 miles per hour, that's gonna hurt something. So just remember that. I mean, it's all about having a bit of fun, but also being aware of how these things work, because they can be lethal, but if they're flown properly, they're, they're great going out with uh, and having a bit of fun. But anyway, in the next video, we're going to be showing you the active track. Uh, the active track, I suppose, is a bit like the follow me mode, but the actual what it actually means is it's actually following me. It's not following the controller. I will show you that as well, so I'll be walking about. Now, if I've got time, because <laughs> I'm limited to the batteries, we'll see if we can do it with the car. I am, I didn't think much of it, but anyway, that's what it's not about. It's about going out and enjoying it, and it's a great little drone. Now, I did say a couple of videos back, don't buy it, but I got it all wrong. It happens. We're not all, you know, remember everything. 
it's a fantastic drone but the only thing i don't like about it is it's got such a short battery life anyway as always say fly safe and uh i look forward to seeing the next one